friends, welcome back to my channel and this is going to be part two of my IKEA cabinet process. We are going to be accessorizing our cabinet. I have not done anything with it yet, so I have pegboards, fans, lights, new handles, all sorts of stuff that I'm going to be adding in to this cabinet and I'm going to take you through some of that process with me and I'll show you what it looks like at the end. This is going to be no plants in this video. I'm going to save that video for last and do a full plant tour. This is just going to be the accessorizing part of the cabinet so I'm super excited to take you along on this process with me. All right, this is an overview of some of the accessories I'm going to be using. I think I'm going to start with a pegboard first and get that on and then start with my wire shelves and then I will install fans and grow lights. I'm not sure which grow lights I'm using because I got another set of grow lights I was gonna use somewhere else and I can't remember which one's which, so I'll have to open those and see. I have zip ties, weather stripping. I'm not sure if I'm gonna weather strip because my plant room right now is getting like 70% humidity. I just moved here a little over a week ago, so I may not have to weather strip it right away, we'll see and I have new handles I'm gonna try and put on, and then these grommets are the wrong size. They just don't fit the hole that I drilled, so I have new ones coming that I'm going to cover up that hole that I drilled. Oh, this is a power outlet strip for the bottom part um, to put all the cords into. And yeah, these are just all kinds of accessories that my Ikea had in stock at the time, so I will put some of these in here. So I'm gonna be installing the Scatus pegboards first. I got two of them. And this is the 22 by 22. That's the size that I got for the Millsbow Tall Cabinet. And I think they're fairly easy to install. I honestly, I haven't done much research on how to install these. So I'm going to see if I can do it myself. And if I'm struggling a bit, then I will look up um, some other videos and see if I can find out how other people did it. But I know the cabinet comes with like pre-drilled holes that you can use. And I know some people put washers on the back to help um, the board, you know, not be so flat against the back so that your things can fit on them okay. So I have some washers I might, I'm going to try and use, but yeah, I'm going to take these out and take this glass out and see how I can put these on. All right, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of playing around and I put one pegboard up and... I was able to put these cups on the back just fine, like the hooks on the back, I could fit them through. But I don't know how I'm going to do the shelving yet, so I don't know. I didn't use the bar that it came with because there's no way to fit this bar on there to elevate it off the back of the glass. But I end, did end up taking these little screw pieces that came with the pegboard and I put one washer. I just found these in my tool stuff on the back part of the screw. So I put the washer on the back side of the board and um, like twisted this into the pre-drilled holes that are already in the cabinet. And I had to take this guy off, the one that was in here, because I couldn't put this one at the bottom hole because it doesn't fit flush with the board. So I had to put it in the middle hole. So I don't know if this is right. I don't know if I need to redo it or find another way, but I might try and put a shelf in and see how the shelves are gonna fit before I put the other pegboard up, and then I'll let you know. So this is the shelving unit that I'm going to be using right here. And I think this is supposed to be the perfect size to fit in here. I don't really know how to fit these in yet, but I'm gonna take them out and, and see what it looks like. They're just two shelves in this box, and I'll have everything that I I'm using links below because I got these off Amazon, so they're supposed to be the exact size to fit this cabinet. So I'm going to undo this and take one out and see um, how it goes. These are the 60 millimeter grommets that I got off Amazon. It came in a two pack, and I'm gonna be using the, these to fill in this hole that I pre-drilled here. So I think I only need one. I don't think I would need another one, but I think I'm going to use another one just because I don't want that bottom part to cut me. So I don't really know how that would go in, honestly, on the bottom one. 
I do have a smaller grommet that I got that actually will fit for this bottom hole. This one's a 50 millimeter that I think will be fine. I think that'll work for that one. And then this is for the top just to cover that hole. I ended up getting these corner braces at my hardware store and I'm going to be adding these into these pre-drilled holes to help support the brackets here, these wire shelves, to go into the cabinet. So I'm gonna be screwing these into these holes here and I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done and what a shelf looks like. I think the gold brackets really pop with the white. I really wanted white brackets, but I could not find them at my hardware store and I didn't feel like ordering anything else off Amazon because I just really want to get this built. So I think the gold just gives it a little bit of touch because my handles are going to be gold. So I think it works and I'm not really too concerned about the screw not really matching because the screws that came with the brackets, I think are too long to fit into that pre-drilled hole. So I'm not really worried about it. I probably could have bought, you know, different screws, but it's fine. I don't really think it's that noticeable, but you could always paint it or switch it out for other screws. And so what I had to do, so this shelf is pretty loose on here and I had to sit it on top of this one. So this bracket here, I put in the top hole, only one screw fits into the, into there. So there's only one screw in that provided hole that is pre-drilled in there. And then this one I actually had to put in the second hole because this raised this bracket up one bar because if I put them, I had it in that one and this lowered this down some, but because this is up a little bit, it was like leaning that way, it was crooked. So I had to put this one in the first hole and that one in the second hole to bring that bracket up a little bit so that this would fit on here and it's level. And I did the same thing with those. And since this is a little loose, what I think I'm going to do is use some zip ties and zip tie the bracket onto here, the shelf, so that way it doesn't move around. Once I put the other pegboard and other shelf in, and once I get them adjusted to how I want them, I, I think I'll just use zip ties and secure this to the bracket so that it doesn't wobble around. Okay, change of plans. I added the other pegboard up top and in order for it to kind of be even, I had to raise this pegboard up one. So the bottom part is actually bare and there's not like too much room for bottom plants. So I don't know if I'm gonna raise the shelf or not. I kind of like how the pegboard ends here and it's like just glass on the bottom. I kind of like that look and the pegboard is on the top half. I kind of like that. But I'm going to put the other shelf in and see kind of, I don't know how I'm going to put the other shelf in. Probably on that one. So it's kind of like even where that line is. I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me do that and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I just put the second shelf on. I'm going to back away so you can see it at a distance to see what it looks like from afar. So I have that pegboard up top. This shelf here has quite a bit of room. So this is probably gonna be for some tall plants, I think. And then I'm gonna put these little things. I'm gonna organize that on these boards and probably play around with that for a bit. This middle shelf is still pretty tall. And then that one's gonna be the shortest one. I'll probably just end up putting, obviously, shorter plants down there on the bottom. But I just like how that bottom is open. And I like the overall feel of it so far. I think the gold brackets give it a pop for sure. I like it. And yeah, I have to, I don't think I'm going to weather strip because it's so humid in my plant room. Like the humidity right now is 72% in here, which is crazy. So I think I am going to not weather strip right now and see what the humidity does inside. Like once the actual plants are in there. And so I think I'm going to work on putting the lights and fan in next, and then I have new handles I'm going to put on. And I think that might be it, and I'm going to organize all the little cups. So let me work on the fans and light situation and see what I'm going to do with that, and then I'll get back on here. Okay, vlog, it has been a little bit since I came on here, and it, this cabinet looks a whole lot different. 
but the only thing I really did was do the lights and the accessories are going to be changing. I just put them all there for now. But the light part was kind of more frustrating than I thought and I'll kind of go over what exactly I did. And these lights are really, really bright. They are really warm as well. So I'm a little cautious about putting some of my plants in here. I'm not gonna lie. But what did I, what I ended up doing? So I have four lights. There's one here, there's one here. And then up top, without blinding you, there's two separate lights. These hooks come with the lights that I got. And I end up zip tying the lights onto the wire shelf here. And this one I did the same thing with. So these lights are secure. And the ones up top, it came with stickers. I don't know how strong these stickers are gonna be, but I used four on each light. I kind of guessed on where to place them exactly. And the thing that kind of messed me up, so the cords come separately and on a couple of them, like here is squished. I had to like somehow maneuver this to get plugged in here. So I recommend connecting these plugs first before you hang them, or at least to kind of get an idea of where to place these because it's sort of a snug fit once you get the cords in. So this side is a bit squished and same for up here, this side is a bit squished. I wished I would have brought that over a little bit more because I have a little extra room. So that's the only thing I did not realize I needed to leave enough room for the cord. And they all connect into one. So the outlet, this outlet I bought separately, but this cord plugs into the outlet. I fed it through the grommet there and so it plugs into one of the lights. And then I connected the lights with these cords. There's four cords, I ended up using three. So this one I connected to this light. This end I connected to this light up here. Oops. And then the other light I connected to each other, this, this one. And I think one of them has like a little extra cord I ended up zip tying. I don't know if that makes sense, but basically you connect all the lights to each other, or at least so every light can connect and work basically. And for the cords, I actually just got through adding more zip ties to secure the cords. Like here, I ended up using some zip ties to hide that cord. And I used more zip ties here. And I zip tied this cord together just to kind of hide that a bit. And for what I was working on up top, so this top, I didn't really have anywhere to connect the cords. So I have these command strips that fit perfectly and kind of conceal. So I ended up hiding some of the extra cord and a lot of these different command hooks. There's a couple more there, there, and over on this side. So that's all I did to kind of conceal all the cords and the grow lights. So I think I'm happy with how it turned out. This shelf is definitely the tallest one. So all my tall plants are gonna go here. And for the accessories, I'm gonna be adjusting this. But these are all like slidable containers that I'll probably use for like propagations. And I have some that are empty pods. I have these clips that I can use and these are all adjustable. And I can play around with them. And then for this, I have like just some empty jars and some extra clips up top. So yeah, that's what I have to work with. Next, I'm gonna be putting the fans in. So I have to figure out how to place the fans. And then I think after that, just the handles and that's pretty much it. Now I did buy weather stripping here. I have two different kinds of weather stripping, but I am not going to weather strip this cabinet. I'm not sure if I mentioned this in the vlog already, but my humidity in my plant room is like 75%, which is pretty humid. So I think putting the plants in here and with it being closed, I think it's gonna stay pretty humid. I'm not sure. I'm gonna put plants in probably in the next day or so and get it kind of set up. And I'll close the doors and see what the humidity is. And if it stays pretty humid, then I'm not gonna worry about weather stripping until I need so, until I need to do it. I'll just do that down the road at some point. So yeah, this is what it's looking like for now. I'm gonna work on the fans and then I'll show you what that looks like when I'm done. I have finished installing the fans. I have two fans and I think it was easiest for me to put them on this level 
and this level because I could zip tie them to the wire rack. I think that's the easiest for me than trying to hang one up top going down because the fans that I got, you can, let's see, you can swivel like the direction, like if I wanna face it down or face it more up, I can. And the power button's on the back and it has three like power modes, low, medium, and high, which is pretty strong. I will say already, I've had these lights on for like, oh, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes or so. And they are super hot is what I would say. It's just like you could feel the heat coming off of these lights. So definitely fans, even without like it being humid, the fans for airflow is definitely a must because it is just so hot in this cabinet already. I can already feel it. So I can, I think that one I'm going to have positioned up to like get that top air circulating. And this one, I, I'm probably just going to face down just so it can kind of circulate more of this area. But I can always change the directions if I need to. And the yellow cord is the fan cords. And so I put them down through the grommet and they're, I'm going to eventually get an outlet that has a timer because right now the grow lights won't be on a timer, but there's like a USB here and that's the um, light cord. So I'm going to have to manually turn the lights on and off, which is fine for now because I can do that since I'm home, but I'm eventually going to get a timer where I can control it from my phone. I think it's going to be the easiest, so I'm probably going to end up switching that out, but it's going to work for now. So, and I ended up for the fan, I secured, I zip tied the fan here and the cord, I ended up zip tying that one up. Um, I don't know if you can see up through the top right here, I zip tied it and that one is just free flowing down. So yeah, that's it for the fans. This one's a little bit loud. I think it's shaking that rack. So, but with the doors closed, I don't think you can hear the fans at all on low. It's pretty quiet. I feel like on low, I can barely hear it. So, and I'm gonna have those fans running 24 seven. So yeah, I'm happy with it so far. I need to clean this glass cause I have fingerprints all over it now. But yeah, I'm going to work on switching these handles out for, let me show you the handles. This, <laughs> this place is a mess. Just ignore it. These are the handles that I got for the cabinets. I got these off Etsy. I think it came from a place in China. So it took like over 30 days to get to me, but I ordered these a long, long time ago. If I can find the exact ones, I'll link them down below, but it did take quite a while to get to me. So I'm going to change these and put these on the door. And then I'll show you. For the handles, I actually need an adapter because they don't line up. And I have to get that off Amazon. So I just ordered it and it's going to take a couple days to get here. So once I get the adapter, then I can put these beautiful handles on the door. All right, vlog. It is a couple days later. I'm not sure exactly where I left off. I don't really want to show you inside my cabinet because I have plants in here. But these are the handles that I ended up putting on the door. And I will have these linked. I got these off. Etsy and it took like 30 days or so to get in but the problem is these do not line up with the holes on the cabinet here so you have to buy an adapter separately and I got this off Amazon this is how it fits on and you secure the handle onto the two longer parts with the smaller screw and it fits those and then this piece, the longer screws fit into the smaller holes where the handles right, are. So that is the cabinet door all done. It looks beautiful. It fits on there perfectly. And yeah, it's, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love them. And they're very um, heavy duty, high quality. They're, they're, I love it already. The only other thing I added was a humidity reader and temperature reader. This is one I got off Amazon and I'll have this linked as well. So I have had the door open for like 10 minutes putting these handles on. So it was like 80%, so it dropped to 71. It's pretty humid in my plant room and it's 77 degrees temperature wise in here. But 
I don't have this weather strip just because it is so humid in my plant room. So I don't think I'm going to weather strip right away. I'll see how the humidity does in here, but with the door closed, it's right around 80% all day today. And with the plugs, the only other thing I added was this smart plug. This works through your Wi-Fi and you can download an app and control the timer for the lights on your phone. So I set it on a timer and I can control it and turn it off and on for my phone. But the only thing is this one that I got is just one plug. So this won't work for my fans, but I'm going to leave my fans running 24 seven. But this at least puts my lights on a timer and I don't have to manually turn them on and off. And then this outlet here, I got off Amazon. It was a two pack. And the main thing I wanted this for was it has two USB cords for my fans because the fans don't have an adapter, so they can't plug into here. So I have the fans going into here and then I have all these that are free. So honestly, I really didn't need this whole thing. Um, for my cabinet so you could probably find a smaller one that just has like a USB part just for the fans because I don't think I'm going to be even using these for anything else so this was probably a waste to get just for my cabinet since the light switch that um that cord for the lights actually will not fit into here because I tried it so I had to use the other plug on the wall for that one so it works. I don't think I need to put my fans on a timer because they're going to run. I'm not going to shut them off at all. So yeah, that's what I did for that. And I'll have that linked as all well. All right. I am popping in on this video again because I need to make an adjustment to my cabinet after a day of having the cabinet built and all the accessories in and everything. The lights actually fell. Well, not both of them, one of them. So the little stickies that come with the lights to hang on that top row, I guess just the heat from being enclosed in the cabinet space, cause it's like 80 degrees humidity and the temperature is like 76% or higher in this cabinet. So that heat is making that residue from the stickers get, I don't know, I guess it's just making it not sticky. And so one of the lights fell on my plant so I was pretty bummed about that so I got something else that I'm going to use to hang the top row of lights and I will show you what they are and what I plan to do so basically you just have to take that top row of plants and I don't really want to show my cabinet yet because I'm doing a plant tour later but I need to take all the plants off of that top row off take down the lights that are now stuck up there even more because I put more tape up there and then I'm going to, I bought some little clips. They're like magnet clips that are supposed to attach to the roof of the um, cabinet. So I'm going to be using the like little supports that come with the lights and hooking that onto the anchors that will attach to the roof. So I will show you what I plan on doing and what it looks like here. All right, so I took one of the lights off. I still have some sticky residue, but you won't really be able to see that. I might try and take a little bit more of that off, but these are the clips that come with the lights. So they connect on like that. You just have to press it down and then I'll be putting the magnet up top to clip these lights to, and that's how they're going to hang. So I'm going to try and take some more of the sticky residue off and then I will attach these in the magnet and then I'll show you. All right, so here we go. They are super strong magnets. It like scuffed the top part of the ceiling there. So these are the clips that clipped in and then the magnets just literally, I, I need to do the back one. I probably should have done the back one first, but you guys ready? It's just going to pow, stick right on. So it's a pretty strong magnet. So it is not going to make these lights fall at all. So that is so much better. And now I don't have to worry about them falling down on my plants. So 100% recommend these magnets, 100, 100% recommend. Okay, and that is both lights hung with those magnets. They look so much better than trying to use the tape. So I highly recommend these magnets for sure. And now I don't have to worry about the lights falling and it looks good. So thank you guys so much for watching my video on how to accessorize the cabinet and stay tuned for next week. We are going to do a full greenhouse cabinet tour and I'm really excited to show you guys all the plants inside and I'm sure I'll make more adjustments to the cabinet as needed once 
I get more into the cabinet world and kind of figure out what I don't like, what I like, what's not doing well. So I'm sure I'll make changes, but for now I'm really happy with it and I'm really excited to just see the progress of the cabinet in like, you know, a couple months from now even. And I'll definitely do updates and let you guys know more thoughts on the cabinet and Right now, I think it's worth it 100% just because I love it and it just looks really good. So I'm really happy with it. So if you have been on the fence about getting one, I would say go for it because you won't be disappointed in my opinion, but we'll see how I feel down the road. But right now, right off the gate, I love it. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this accessorizing part of my video. And yeah, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. I'll have everything linked in the description for you. And yeah, I hope to chat with you guys soon.